Joanna Stingray. You're watching her music video, City of Lenina, with clips from the informational film, The Truth About Communism, that her father produced, after which he beseeched her to never go behind the Iron Curtain. But she did, in 1984, and so began her perilous venture to make Russian underground rock music known to the world by smuggling the music and art of her new friends to the West. Everyone wants to rock up the world Everybody wants to stay People who love 80s punk and rock will find this to be a captivating Cold War story. Readers will find fascinating parallels and divergences with the American experience of music and culture at this time, during a total paradigm shift that America and Russia both shared. Stingray's perspective is unique, an insider slash outsider who helped to open Russian music to the West. This is her story which is a tribute to so many extraordinary musicians in Russia, many of whom have died now. This book is for them. But it's also about the power of youth culture to override any obstacle. In that sense, it's a political book and an incredibly hopeful one. People Magazine, Newsweek, Rolling Stone, and many others celebrated Joanna and Yuri's rock and roll wedding as a symbol of youth culture exerting power and of East meeting West. In Russia, it was treated this way too. Joanna says she's just an ordinary person who was able to become a musical ambassador because of the extraordinary people she found herself around before they were famous. To the likes of Andy Warhol and David Bowie, Joanna's story and her Russian friends were nothing short of magic. But that's not the end of the story. No surprise she was followed and questioned by both the KGB and the FBI. Fascinating parts of Joanna's story have already appeared on the Wind of Change podcast, but this book is the only place you will get the whole story. Learn intimately about the rockers who became legends, live Joanna's rebel love story, and tumble down the rabbit hole into a world you never realized existed.